Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we're looking at the new Hermes lip oils. So these are their Hermesistible lip oils. They are an infused lip care oil. They're infused with color and scent. So we're going to talk about that. There are six shades and six different scents. These retail for 55 US dollars each and I have all six of these to show you. So I have already used Number five, Rose Cola, many, many, many times. <laughs> this has become a favorite. I picked this one up first and, you know, at first I put it on, I was like, oh, it's nice, I like it. And then the more I used it, the more I ended up really enjoying it and noticing that it really is helping the condition of my lips. So the hydrating properties in here are actually showing benefits on my lips, especially after I do like a bunch of lip swatches and everything. They're very comfortable to wear. So I ended up picking up the rest of them. And this is how they come packaged. So they come in a box like this. You've got your traditional, you know, Hermes box style with the orange peeking through, but they have cut down on packaging a little bit. So instead of having the orange pull through box, you have this. So this is a glass tube here. And then we have a doe foot applicator here. And let's just go ahead and start with some swatches. This shade here is number one, Beige Sapatil. And let's see how we can swatch that. So that's kind of, you can see it kind of built up there a little bit and kind of sheer. Let's see if we can make that a little bit more piled up. So you can see, you can put it on very sheerly to get this color or pile it on to get the deeper shade. Now, moving on to number two, we have Corail Bigrod. And this one here is going to be a little bit more orangey. So you can see that the beige sepatil does have a little bit of a peachy orange look to it. This one has a little bit more of a reddish orange. You know, it's a coral. So coral is a mix of red and orange, but it leans more orange than a traditional coral. Number three is Rose Patea. And this is a really pretty kind of bright pink. Look at that. I really like that color there. Let me put a little bit more right here for you. And you can see that this pink is, it leans a little bit cool, but it's not overly cool. So I think it's gonna work well for a lot of people. Number four, we have Rouge Amarel. So this is the reddish shade here. You can see it's very sheer and it's actually more pink than red. This one's definitely got those blue undertones in it. And you can see it's gonna be warmer than the Rose Patea. It's got a little bit more red versus pink, but it's still more solidly in the pink family, in my opinion, than the red family. Number five, this is Rose Cola. And this is a rosewood shade. You can see it's kind of like a nude rosewood and it's it's a soft rosewood. So it's got a little bit more pink than some rosewoods do. It's more of like that pinky mauve nude shade, you know, so it's got a little bit of some cooler tones in there as well. And then this one here is number six, Purpura Cameron. This is what's on my lips right now. And you can see that it is a violet pink kind of shade. So it's definitely like purple, but it has the pink vibes to it. And it's almost like a purple fuchsia. So these are the six shades. We're gonna talk a little bit about the formula and the product while we look at the lip swatches. So according to Hermes, these lip oils, they awaken the senses with the synthesia of colors and scents. They're made from 97% natural ingredients. The color and scent care oil combines a nourishing skincare action with a fresh makeup result. Hydrated and smooth, the lips are enhanced with a light touch of color, radiant shine, and an addictive fruity note. And these are enriched with a high concentration of active ingredients. The care oil is extremely sensory, enveloping and comfortable. Its plant oils form a protective and nourishing film on the lips, while the complex of emollient raw materials maintains and boosts hydration. So as I mentioned, as I've been using these more and more, I have noticed that 
The, these claims actually seem to be pretty accurate. They are boosting the hydration of my lips. They're very smoothing, they're comfortable. You know, they are a lip oil, but they are a medium textured lip oil. There's no real stickiness, but again, you've got this emollient texture on your lips, so you could technically still get your hair like kind of caught in it for a second, but it's not gonna like stick there like it would with a sticky gloss. However, these are very emollient. So if you have trouble with lip glosses or lip products in general, kind of bleeding and feathering into the skin surrounding your lips, you do want to use some sort of lip barrier here, such as a lip liner, even a translucent lip liner, but you need some sort of barrier to help prevent that from moving. However, these are a sheer lip gloss, essentially, or lip oil, but essentially a lip gloss. And if you put them on very sheerly with a thin layer, so you're just getting a little bit of emollient texture and you're getting just a lighter wash of color, you don't really need that barrier treatment there. Some of the product will kind of sink into your lips and you'll have that boosted hydration. If you want that glossier, more impactful look with you know a higher concentration of color, you're gonna need to pile it on and then I would recommend using some sort of barrier. Let's talk a little bit about the scents and the shades. So all of these scents were developed by perfumer Christine Nagel and they all have notes of sandalwood and arnica in the base. And then each one of these scents and shades, they're all reminiscent of a particular fruit, essentially. And that particular food item, <laughs> fruit, is going to be in the fragrance for that particular shade and the color is reminiscent of it as well. So they kind of all tie in together. So number one, beige sapatil is a soft beige with a bright orange note reminiscent of sapodilla, a tropical fruit with creamy caramel flavored flesh. And that is what we get the color from. And the scent is again, gonna be the sandalwood and arnica with sapodilla notes. So you can see how they all kind of tie in. Number two, Corail Bigarade. That's gonna be a bright sunny coral, like a Sevilla orange inside. And again, this is going to be reminiscent of the Bigarade. So just for reference, a Bigarade is a orange from Sevilla. So it's a Sevilla orange, and that's going to give you your color and your fragrance, just like in number one. Number three, Rose Patea, is actually going to be uh, developed after the dragon fruit. Dragon fruit, I always thought that was one of the prettiest ones. Both the color and the scent is gonna be based from dragon fruit. Number four, Rouge Amarel. This is gonna be based off of the Amarel Cherry. So it's the bright red shade in the lip gloss. Again, I do find it to be a little bit more pink than red, but it is going to be a cherry red, cherry scent. Number five, Rose Cola. I had honestly never heard of the cola nut before. I kept thinking it said koala every time I saw it originally. And this is gonna be our elegant rosewood and it has vibrant and spicy nuances reminiscent of the cola nut. And that Those words are directly from Hermes. And again, our fragrance, sandalwood and arnica with the cola nut. And then number six, Purpura Cameron. This is going to be sparkly and fruit, a sparkling and fruity violet. And the fragrance here and the color inspiration is crowberries. So that's kind of how these were developed. I have to say, I'm really enjoying these. You know, I am, when I first heard they were scented, I was kind of like, oh no. <laughs> I'm personally not a fan of the vanilla scented lip glosses or the highly fragranced lip glosses, especially ones like you can taste. You know, these, they, I don't know, for some reason I like them. So they are fruity. You don't really smell the sandalwood and arnica quite as much. They're definitely kind of there in the background. The major note is definitely going to be the fruity fragrance. And I have to say they smell fresher versus more artificial. And I think that's one of the things that makes a difference for me. Um, you know, plus they're more unique scent profiles than what you get with a typical uh, scented lip gloss and so forth. 
Now, as for taste, I have to say I don't really taste anything with these. Wear time with the lip oils, they're average for a lip gloss. You are going to still have a thin layer on your lips. You know, there's kind of a layer that soaks in a little bit and a layer that kind of remains as a barrier. You know, kind of how if you've got like a thicker chapstick and it kind of wears away, you're left with a protective film. You do have that with these and there will be a little bit of color there and that can last for many hours. You know, I'm talking like half a day here but the overall like shininess and bright vibrant color you're looking at like a traditional two to three hours of that before you want to reapply if you want that thicker more emollient more colorful appearance and i have to say i don't really notice any taste from these lip glosses i don't purposely lick my lips and try to taste them <laughs> typically but i did with these just to kind of see whether or not it was something that you know i would notice because there are definitely some products that i shy away from because even the accidental taste of it is just you know very frustrating um but these they're really benign so i don't really notice it and i'm really happy with these so all right so i hope that was helpful but we're gonna go ahead and move into comparisons and if you appreciate content like this please be sure to click the button down below and subscribe to my channel for comparisons, I thought we would look more so at texture, what's similar on the lips uh, versus color, because again, these are sheer. All of the shades are absolutely beautiful in my opinion, and I think they're all very wearable. We're gonna start off with the Sisley lip glosses. Now, Sisley lip glosses are, you know, they're my favorite lip gloss formula. This shade here is number two, Aurora. And you can see that they do have a similar amount of shine. Look at the way the light is hitting those. The Sisley lip glosses are a little bit thinner on the lips than the Hermes, but these are also, they're not a sticky gloss, but they are slightly stickier, slightly tackier than the Hermes lip oils. So just some comparisons. That, when these came out, these were 55 US dollars, but they recently had a price increase and I believe they are 58 US dollars now which means that the Hermes is actually less expensive. Now for comparison, by the way, these are made in France and the Sisley, these are going to be made in France as well. And they are six and a half milliliters versus eight and a half milliliters for Hermes. And the Sisley have a two year shelf life, the Hermes have one year. Overall, I have to say that they are both excellent options, but if you're looking for hydration, their Hermes is more hydrating than the Sisley. Again, the Sisley is gonna be a little bit thinner on the lips though than the Hermes. Next up, I want to take a look at the Givenchy. These are the new uh, Rose Perfecto liquid lip balms. And this is a liquid lip balm, not technically a lip gloss or a lip oil. This shade here is number 117. Can see that these are not going to be as shiny these are going to be really emollient and comfortable on the lips and they have some healing properties to these as well so definitely you know another option to consider if you're looking for something that will give a little color as well as some additional benefits and then we have the ilia balmy gloss these are a tinted lip oil like the hermes and this is going to be um, in maybe violet and both the Givenchy and the Ilia, you know, these are going to be less expensive than the Hermes, <laughs> by the way. So the Ilia is a lip oil like the Hermes, but it is going to have a thinner texture than the Hermes. It's a little bit thinner in formulation in general. And you can see that it has a little bit more of a satin texture to it or satin finish versus the high shine finish of the Hermes. You can also see that the Hermes is much more sheer and buildable than the Ilia, which is going to have a higher concentration of pigments, you know, that kind of goes on with the first swipe. So I don't have any other lip oils. We're gonna take a look at a few glosses and we're just gonna to touch on some popular ones such as the Gloss Lux Formula from Tom Ford. This one here is number six, Ravish. And you can see here, the finish of this is going to be more similar to the Ilia. It's not quite as high shine. However, the Tom Ford formula does come with some high shine finishes. So you can get something a little bit shinier. And again, it doesn't sheer out quite as much. It's very sheer looking on the lips. But if you look at the actual swatch, the way that it shears out, 
it's a little bit different. It's more so, I mean, just look at the way these colors kind of finish versus this. It's hard to put into words, but there's a little bit of a difference. Texturally, the Tom Ford is gonna be a little bit stickier, not quite as oily feeling as the Hermes. Now, I wanna mention that the Hermes, although they do have that a little bit of an oily texture to them, being a lip oil, they also have a little bit of that vinyl substance that kind of keeps it in place a little bit. So it's not super slippery like some that I've tried in the past. Now, these are the Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Glosses. And although it's not technically a lip oil, it's an oil gloss, so it's kind of a hybrid product. This shade here is in the buff, and you can see that the texture of this is definitely thinner than the Hermes, and it's gonna be less shiny. It's a little bit more of a satin finish. This is a really comfortable product as well. However, it's not giving you the extra benefits that you're getting from the Hermes lip oils. It's a great lip gloss to wear, and it's a go-to formula for me. I really enjoy those. We also have the Chanel Rouge Coco Glosses. This is 119. I believe it's bourgeoisie. And we're going to start moving over here. You can see the finish. Now this one has shimmer. Notice none of the Hermes have shimmer. They just have that high shine, a little bit of a sheen. You can see that oily texture has allowed it to run a little bit. So you definitely do want to use a barrier product if you have issues with feathering and so forth. Or again, shear it out a little bit. Don't pile it up so much. <laughs> so the Chanel formula is also gonna feel pretty similar on the lips, slightly thinner than the Hermes, but it also has a little bit of a thinner texture when you, you know, kind of press your lips together. You don't feel quite as much product. And I actually forgot I do have two more lip oils. I have one of the Merit lip oils. This is in Pink Beat. It's gonna be a thinner lip oil in texture. It, it's just, it's thinner overall. You know, this would be a thin textured lip oil versus a medium texture here for the Hermes. You can also see that it doesn't go quite as sheer. And then we have the Lila B Tinted Lip Oil in Be Elegant. This one's a, a mini version of it. These are really more like a pigmented gloss to me, but you can see that they do have a high shine finish, more similar to the Hermes. This is between a light and medium weight texture to me. It's a very nice lip oil. I really like these. However, they have a very limited shade range, but I think they're a really nice product. And um, yeah, overall though, I have to say that for lip oils, I haven't tried the Dior yet. They're on my list but the Hermes lip oils are my favorite lip oils. Putting them in categories with glosses, I would put them near the top. I think for glosses and liquid lip balms right now, I'm still like really thrilled with the Givenchy and the Sisley. You know, these and then the Chanel is always a favorite as well. But these would definitely go up there with some other favorites like the Clay de Poe. Let's take a look at this one. This is in number three, Charm. And one of my favorite things about these particular lip glosses is the applicator. But this is gonna be a lip gloss and it's a fantastic lip gloss. It's you know definitely a favorite for me. So putting the Hermes lip oils in categories with the lip glosses, they're definitely up ranking high up there with some of my other favorites. As for lip oils as a category, they are, I think they are my favorite because I have noticed actual benefits using it repeatedly. Whereas with other lip oils, I get more of that barrier action, but I haven't had any true hydration or benefits with repeated use. Whereas with the Hermes, they really do make my lips feel a little bit better and get in better shape. So I have to say that they, are, in my opinion, are worth the money. So I'm really happy with these. And I'm actually kind of glad that I started off with one and tried it out for a while before investing in others because then I knew that it was something that I really did like. So if you are interested in these, I would definitely recommend starting with one and you know trying it out. But there are so many beautiful colors. I think the hardest part is picking a shade. So one more time, we have one beige sapatia, two Coral Brigade, uh, was it Beer, uh, Big Rod, Coral Big Rod, and then three Rose Patea, four Rouge Amarelle, 
five rose cola and six purpura cameron so they're just all beautiful and i have to say i actually did really like the fragrances in them if you're interested in something fruity so they're great for the summer thank you so much for tuning in i hope this was helpful again subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you very soon so have a great day and stay safe and healthy